This animation's disgusting already. We're like 10 seconds in, not even. My sword will be the last thing you see. Oh, bitch. They declare me guilty. Yet their sin is greater. Who gave him the right with this music? They've fallen too far for their lofty Sienjo ships. Yo, this is what? Right. Are you kidding? Uh, they got it. They can't keep doing this. <laughs> they, they cannot keep doing this. This is so hot. Also, this girl, the fucking gray hair. The fucking gray hair and the field of these specific flowers that represent death. Like, bitch. Bitch. Like, are you kidding me? And then they had the fucking audacity. They had the audacity to bring in this motherfucker. Like, is this supposed to be a foreshadowing? Is this, I feel like this is, could be one of two things. This is either a foreshadowing of something that's going to come, like, because they're inevitably obviously going to, like, clash in the upcoming patch. Or is this, like, is this, like, a metaphor or, like, imagery of, like, what happened when Don Hung was like in Bybiter Lune in the past? Like, did he kill Blade? Like, was, like, it got me thinking, like, is in Bybiter Lune, like, the reason that, like, Blade and Jing Liu are Mara stricken? Because that would be a gag. That would be, like, a literal gag. Until your sin is cleansed. My vengeance will pursue you. Bitch, your vengeance can pursue me to the ends of the fucking earth. I don't know what I did personally to Blade, but honestly, I'm glad I did it because at least there's going to be one man in the world who's going to pursue me. Even if it's to kill me, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Get you a man that looks at you with the wrath and vengeance that Blade looks at Don Hong. This trailer was fucking amazing. That was sexy. That trailer was sexy. <laughs> 